If you're wondering why Tesla's stock shot up after hours, it shot up in a very big way. <laughs> it closed today at about 407 bucks, as you can see here on Robinhood with my cursor moving around. 407 bucks is what it basically closed at. It just kind of hovered around there. And, you know, at about five o'clock, I looked at the stock and I was like, oh, okay, you know, 407, 408 dollars. Cool. Perfectly fine. I closed it. I closed the uh, the, the uh, Robinhood notif uh, the Robinhood app. And then I started getting notifications on my Apple Watch, on my phone. It was just blowing up, telling me that Tesla stock was popping. It was like, oh, it's up 8%. Oh, it's up 10%. It was really wild to see. Got my phone out, looked at the Robinhood app. And you just see this giant pop right here at about 520, just boom. So it's about 515, it just pops all the way up. I was like, what the heck is happening? So I went, of course, and searching all over the internet. Tesla is going to be included in the S&P 500. This is big, big news for Tesla. As you already know, when they reshuffled the S&P 500 in September, Tesla was snubbed. People went crazy and they were like, why is Tesla being snubbed? I can't believe it's being snubbed. And everybody was so upset and was just down. Oh, look, at this is what you get about Tesla. And, you know, just doubters and haters and bears all over the market um, talking trash about Tesla not being included and people losing hope. I don't know why this was happening as if this would be the last time Tesla would ever be considered to be included in the S&P 500. Uh, that, I mean, that's, that was never the case. <laughs> never the case. So I don't know why that doubt and fear was, was going around, but here it is in December, they will be included in the S&P 500. I'm not making this video to go deep in depth with Tesla's stock and the money and all that stuff as far as how this goes. Go to Tesla daily, watch his stuff because that's what he does best. That's what he does. I don't do that. <laughs> I'm just excited that it's actually finally in the S&P 500. According to CNBC and reported by Baird, which is a equity research firm, they're saying that Tesla will be the largest company ever to be added in the S&P 500 because its market value is above $380 billion. The official announcement from S&P DJI went as follows. They said that Tesla will be added to the S&P 500 effective prior to the open of trading on Monday. December 21st to coincide with the December quarterly rebalancing effective date. They also stated that this would be a huge feat for them and they're looking for feedback as to how they want to go about actually adding Tesla to the S&P 500. The quote goes as follows. Due to the large size of the addition S&P 500 DJI is seeking feedback through a consolation to the investment community to determine if Tesla should be added all at once on the rebalancing effective date or in two separate tranches ending on the rebalance effective date. If you want to know exactly what the criteria is for inclusion in the S&P 500, it goes as follows. The company should be from the U.S., of course, a U.S. company. Its market cap must be at least $8.2 billion. Its shares must be highly liquid, according to them. At least 50% of its outstanding shares must be available for public trading. It must report positive earnings in the most recent quarter, as well as the sum of its quarters in the previous four quarters must be positive. Tesla qualifies for all of this, and this is why it's going to be included in December in the S&P 500. Now, as you can see on my Robinhood, I'm not like the Tesla stock YouTubers, the rest of those who have um, Tesla stock and tons of shares of Tesla stock at a very low average cost. I do have a higher average cost. It's at 431 bucks, and I only have 6.9 shares of Tesla. I don't have a lot of it. I do have a lot of other stocks that I also have money in that I didn't want to take money from those stocks and just put it all into Tesla. That's not my goal. I think people who do that, totally fine for you. That's totally cool. That's not my goal. My average cost is pretty high compared to theirs, and uh, I'm totally fine with it because I'm very long on Tesla. I, I do think that Tesla is going to go to Mars, and <laughs> I'm totally fine with having a higher average cost than what most people probably have. So, yeah, that's just my transparency on my Tesla stock. I only have seven shares, and I will keep buying Tesla stock when I have money to do so. So that's all I have for this video today. Not going to go into too much detail, not going to go into too much depth. If you want all that stuff, of course, go watch Tesla Daily. Watch other YouTubers that do this for a living Tesla stock, and they know way more than I do about all this stuff. Just super excited to see Tesla going places, doing big things. going to be in the S&P 500. If you haven't bought stock now, I don't know. Might, now might be the time. <laughs> Thank you for watching. My name is Lenny J. I will see you in the next episode. This is Polarity.